Alright, now on this video I'm going to show you how to draw any any thread, I'm going to use the square thread, but any thread on end, so how it would it look like it head on if you were like facing it right towards you then looking at it from the side, and how to draw it internally. So, how to do this, quite simple. Let me throw in a center line real quick first before we get started. Arbitrarily pick a length here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to move it out. See, enter from the midpoint. Let's do point 0.2. Again, we're going to double that point 0.4. TR enter, delete the space or trim off the space between, and then M enter. Let's use some orthographic projection here, put it back in. Alright, so there's our center, because we actually needed that center line. What you do is you take your major diameter. This is what it would look like on end. So if you were looking straight down the barrel of it. And I'm just projecting some lines over here our major diameter and here's our minor diameter at the root not using any measurements to do this and now I draw a circle for our major diameter and if you think about it right the major diameter sticks out you would never actually see the shaft because that major diameter is always larger than our minor diameter. So I'm going to switch over to hidden. See enter. Delete our construction lines. Draw this up. Oops, let's switch it over. And my mirror. Doing this rather fast because you are advanced. All I did was mirror that. And I need to switch back over. See enter. And we did point 0.2 and point 0.4. Go ahead and trim those up. Our center lines look awfully close to the same color. It's orange and red. Let's go ahead and change that right now, just so these really pop out. So, where are we? Center lines, there it is. Let's do a blue. Alright, and notice I was not even on the right layer. But, that will take seconds to fix. Center line. All right, there we go. Much better. Okay, so this is what it would look like on end. External thread. External thread. Both ones from the side view. Ones on end. So looking down the barrel. Now what I'm gonna do is show you how to do it internal. And this is just gonna blow your mind. You gotta think of this thing, right? This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like from the outside going to the right. So what it would look like receiving from the inside or the other side, it's the exact same thread, but it's the other side because it's going to be a, a section view, which means it's cut in half, and it's going to face this way. So all you have to do, this may seem like cheating, but it's not. I'm going to mirror this over. And I'm just going to put a box around this. Let's cut it off at an exact point here. We don't want to just randomly cut somewhere. And go ahead and mirror this over itself. Everything on this side can be deleted. However, However, you're not going to actually see half of this thread. So it's that back half that you're not going to see. So what you will see, and this may look a little funky, but 
you come straight down and you delete this because right that's the top that's the midpoint that's the the highest point around the shaft and you know the highest point on the circle or on a cylinder is going to be also its midpoint thinking three dimensionally looking down the barrel that is so you just gotta come down and delete all these Now if I just copy this, go a little bit faster, delete, and copy this. doing the same thing on the bottom because you're only going to see half of it, right? Because there's material there that you're actually cutting into. Notice the difference. We're wrapping around. We can see the whole thing. It's three-dimensional. On our internal threads, it comes straight down because half of it, you have to imagine this is, this is material and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to hatch that. And I'm going to change the hatch up here a little bit. Go into some steel. There we go. So we are now in the material. The last thing I'm going to do is delete this. Because this is not right. Come straight up from the middle. Copy. And just extend these. Good. I want this one to say the same thing, which is 0.9. Good. And delete that construction line. So there you have it. External thread on end. Internal thread. Last thing to do is actually make a... What does it on end look like for an internal thread? So if we're looking down a hole of some sort. I'm just going to simply copy this guy in. Now just like we did with this one, we are going to do the same thing. Now, think about it this way. Now what you're going to see is the negative space of the actual outline of the material. So, this right here is the minor material, which the minor diameter, which is going to be the negative space of the actual material, which the thread is tapped into. So that's actually going to become visible. And the major diameter will actually become hidden. Because you got to think three dimensionally here. This piece of material is sticking out. So this is like a little cove in here. We get a wrap inside here. It's just the imprint. This is negative space, positive space. And there you go. So that is two views external, two views internal.